Hello our beautiful bitters and today we are doing raw spice bar. Raw Spice Bar contacted me again for the second time. They contacted me last month to review their products and then they contacted me again if I was interested. I said, well, you already gave me, you know, a month first to, to review, which was last month, which was the, the Urfa Bieber and the, I mean, they were, the spices were out of this world and that roasted or, um, that baked cauliflower, I did that and it was so good. Yum. And then the other thing I put on fish, and Eli is not a fish fan, but he just gobbled that up. And then he told me the other day, he goes, Mom, when you make tilapia again, could you put that spice on it? <laughs> he loved it. And it had all these peppers on it. So, yeah, it was totally worth it. So, we've got this. So, let's see what we, what country we have going on here. Malaysian. Malaysian spice box. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. Indian, Chinese, and Thai cuisines have a firm foothold as established food cultures, but for many, the Malaysian food scene is a bit of an unknown. Formed by spice trading, colonial conquest, and travel, Malaysia offers a cuisine that pulls off pulls from many but stays distinctive. If you pursue the stalls of Penang and Kuala, it looks like Kuala. It's K-U-A-L-A. Lumpur. Kuala. Lumpur. You'd find the steam, uh, find fish steamed with Malay ingredients like gangel and lemongrass curries. Go pulling from, and I love curry. Purring from, pulling from South Indian traditions. Um, and then it just goes on. Spanish, English, por Portuguese, Thai, Chinese. You'll find bits and pieces from many cultures brought into the Malaysian palate. A true melting pot of flavor. This month we've partnered with Caroline Artis for our Malaysian curry la laksa recipe oh, and spice blends. Caroline is a trained chef who specializes in Malaysian and Asian fusion and has quickly risen to fame through her quick, healthy, and simple YouTube cooking videos. <gasps> we gotta go check her out! Half Malaysian, half English, Caroline's multi-ethnic background makes her a true glo glo global representative for many cultures and cuisines. Make sure you check out her wonderful cooking videos at youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Caroline Artis and it's A-R-T-I-S-S and I will put that in the description box below. I am real, oh, I, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, we've got three spice blends. This is Kefir Lime, Kefir Lime Blend and they have a salad recipe for this one, but it can be used, let's see, deep green zesty leaf of the kefir, I think I'm saying that right, lime, ground into fine powder is one of our favorite secret weapons for elevating a dish from good to great. We love sprinkling this kefir lime blend on ice cream, roasted nuts, and as a salad dressing base or on top of a bowl of noodles or a curry for final citrusy burst. That sounds really good, guys. Mm. Kefir lime powder, turmeric, palm sugar, and red chilies. That sounds really good. I'm excited to try that. Then we have sambal olik. I'm probably butchering these like always. This hot spicy blend of ground chilies is used for an all over Indonesia and Malaysian broth, both as a condiment and to form the base of a curry and rice dishes. Freshly ground chilies form the base of this paste, which is created with the addition of vinegar, lime, garlic, and salt to taste. So it's got freshly ground chili peppers, cayenne pepper, palm sugar, and paprika. And paprika is a great salt substitute because I can't have a whole lot of salt in my diet, so I use, I, I cook with paprika a lot. Paprika. And they have, the what was recipes. it? The recipes. Oh, for the, 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 the base that they were talking about when I read the card. 
And then the last it one. Looks so good. Ooh, the last I one. I know. I know. I want to try this so bad. Oh, Doesn't that look delicious? Oh my goodness, guys. We are going to buy shrimp. We're going to buy noodles. We're going to make that dish. My mouth is watery, guys. Oh my goodness. I want it so bad. Shallots, chicken thighs, coconut milk, um, tofu. And I'll cut out the tofu and add more chicken. Um, three cups of water, rice, salt, green beans, or cabbage. King and prawns. King prawns. I'm actually not supposed to have shellfish, but every once in a while I'll splurge. Like now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I would just omit the tofu because I can't have tofu. But, oh, oh, my mouth is, I want this so bad, guys. Oh. It's I'm to telling die you. for. I'm telling you guys. Oh my goodness. So, All right, Eli. this is the last right. packet. Eli comes in because he's, he's hearing all about this food. <laughs> Can you cut out the shrimp? I well, you can you can eat it without the shrimp, Eli. You could just pick around the shrimp or not oh. put the shrimp in. Or You're take fine. out or take out your shrimp and put it in. Oh, <gasps> this sounds so good. You Shut. sit on my lap. Okay, shh. <laughs> okay, Malaysian laka spices. Many families in Malaysia have their own secret recipes for curry powder which are passed on for generations. Each recipe is a bit different. Ours is a blend of coriander and turmeric combined with citrusy flavor of lemongrass and earthy notes of galangal and galangal, galangal for creating traditional Malaysian laksa. Laksa. Coriander, turmeric, lemongrass, gangal, black peppercorns, cumin. Galangal. Um, fennel, star anise, cardamom, and spices. Ooh. I'm telling you guys, this is a $6 a month subscription. These guys contacted me for review, and this is absolutely amazing. Not only do you get these amazing spices, and they're generous spice packets, guys. I've still got two packets over there that I haven't even completed. I can get three at, at least three meals out of those spice packets yeah um one i used up all all the whole packet for the um cauliflower but the other two i still got stored over there this yeah. is for six bucks you get spices and recipes to go with the spices this is awesome. This is one of my new favorite boxes. And I got so excited when I said, hey, well, you already offered this to me last month. And she wrote back and she said, we'd be happy to offer it to you again. And I, and I said, yes, I'll take it, absolutely. <laughs> so, oh, I love I'm this. I wanna try the Malaysian curry laksa. It looks so bad, good. Looks so bad. It's looks so bad, so it's bad. good. It's so good. bad, it's good. <laughs> Oh, I know, because last time, out of the three recipes, the one really caught my eye, and I'm like, i got to try it. This is the one that I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have to make that. Oh, yeah. i got to make sure we have all. I have most of the ingredients. You need the king prawns. prawns. Yeah, I don't have any shrimp or prawns. Um, but, yeah, I've got... Pretty much everything else. I've got chicken. I've got pretty much everything else. I don't have ginger though. Yeah. I don't have raw ginger. Not right now, but I've got shallots. But I've got everything else in here. I just need to go buy a couple things and I can make it. So that's awesome. That I've got most of this that's in here. I want it. My mouth is so bad. My mouth is seriously watering just looking at that picture, guys. I mean, it looks so good. I want to eat it so bad. Oh, I don't want to eat it. So, thanks for joining us in this little uh, subscription unboxing, and uh, see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.